Tom and Jerry. I grew up on that classic animation TV show about cat and a mouse. The cat being Tom and the mouse being Jerry. And Tom constantly trying to catch that mouse. I think that I'm not the only one who says that Jerry is my favorite. And I always rooted for the guy. And sometimes Tom's in situations where I kind of rooted for him, but oftentimes it didn't involve Jerry. But most of the time, his uh, problems were because of Jerry. And uh, it reminds me of the Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner, where Wile E. Coyote is constantly doing and trying to catch that Roadrunner. And growing up, you know, this was really my favorite cartoon, Tom and Jerry. And uh, you never be too old to still be a fan. And this has been out for about a week now, over a week, and maybe a little more than that. But I noticed it on YouTube, and I put it in my, you know, playlist to watch later and do a reaction. I never got around to it when it came out. But now I'm going to check it out and see what it's all about. Tom and Jerry in 2020. Well, 2020 has been crap so far, so... Why not bring a little bit of my childhood back so that I could smile a little bit? But here we are. And for those of you who stopped by to check out this video, uh, why don't you come along and uh, let's see what Tom and Jerry are up to. Here you go. All right. After a lifetime of being the world's most famous enemies. You can't count on Oh, okay. I like that song. Tom and Jerry are about to start over. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> In the big city. He knew that. He planned that. <laughs> this hotel has been host to four presidents, three popes, two kings, and we're about to host the wedding of the century. Do you think you're qualified to take on this position? I shine under pressure, like a diamond. Or hey, <laughs> Chloe Grace Moretz. We have a mouse problem. With the what now? I'll catch it, sir. Everybody gonna shine. I was born like this, don't even gotta try. Oh, wow, this is so detailed. We could hire an exterminator. Or oh, we can leverage millions of years of predatory evolution. That the bed is <laughs> He's just saying, nah, him? He's a cake. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna do nothing to me. <laughs> if a picture of this mouse is tweeted out to Instabook Face or Tiki Talk, we will be ruined. No, sir. Why does he, why does he have that voice? Is he talking French? <laughs> Hey, job. He's dying with us. I think I might have just pulled this off. Really? We blowing up the whole thing. Everybody in the bouncy house go bouncy, bouncy. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm Marsha Batman. <laughs> oh yeah i hate those man i i hate when they you know when you had to put together you know like that thing happened outside and she's you could tell that's another scene and she's going oh no like and i don't know uh, Okay, it's another one of those things where they take a classic cartoon, they put it in modern day with live actors. It's always like they're put in the background. Like they're not are they not the focus of this cartoon? It's their name, they see you see them, but it seems like they're not even the the, the focus of this um, thing. And 
What is the name of that guy that I cannot stand? He's a guy who, I don't know what he's trying to go for in this movie, but he has like a, what's that, a French accent? That's what it sounded like to me. Now, Michael Pena. That's him, right? He's even in Ant-Man, I couldn't stand him. You know, the way he... We try you like that's that's the thing I'm talking about. What I was talking about, something I looked at. I was talking about before one of the one of the videos I did. When there's somebody who is a, a comic relief, and then that person is just trying to be the comic relief. He's not. He is not the comic relief. He's trying to be one. If you're a comic and you're you're supposed to be funny, then why not you just you know be there and deliver your lines. You know what I mean? deliver your lines you don't have to try to be the funny guy just be the funny guy and look you know gotta make sure really really just not funny you know it's nice to see chloe grace moretz but what is her role what, you know, what is she doing in here? Uh, see, I laughed a lot in the, the beginning part, and then that part when Tom, you know, slams the, uh, I mean, Jerry slams the, what do you call it? Slams the, uh, the window on his hands. But then everything else is just like, yeah, here we go again. A silly, convoluted story that has uh, Tom and Jerry in there. Like I think I, I never watched the Smurfs, but I think that's what it was. Like from the commercials that I watched, it's just like they're just part of the world. They're not. They are not the world. They should be nothing but Tom and Jerry and animation. How about a full, complete animation? You know, like they give animation treatments to all these other stories, and yet Tom and Jerry is mixed into the real world with, you know, like she doesn't question the fact that there's a mouse that looks animated. Think about it, how silly that looks. And it's a cute little mouse there, that, that, but then she wants to hire someone to get rid of the mouse. Like, is the mouse doing anything? If we got a mouse problem, yeah, we had an animated mouse problem. You know, like a mouse that just keeps to himself and he doesn't go around spreading diseases or anything like that. Like, what, what, what is the point of this, you know? Give me Tom and Jerry, give me the animation. A complete animated role. There's a bunch of other characters around Tom and Jerry too. So it's like you could bring them back, you know. I mean, come on. You know, I know it's all, all about Tom and Jerry, and that's what you know, but when you do this, you know, it's a hit and miss thing. When you come you mix animated characters with real life characters, live action characters. Like it's I mean it could be a great could be great, you know. But look what he did with Scooby Doo. This you know, Scooby-Doo was done really well. There, he's animated, right? But you know, I mean, well, it was it was it was actually animated. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was thinking about was there like a thing? Uh, there's another animated thing that was like that. But Tom and but uh, uh, Scooby-Doo was completely animated. You know, it was really fun. It was really, really a great animation, great way to bring them into 2020 or whenever I think 2019. I think is when it came out, but. Those fans and even new fans were okay with it. They liked it. Uh, this one, this is like a, again another mishmash where you're gonna put them in a, in a, in a world with what do you call it with live action, and then it's just a silly antics of Tom and Jerry, but then you have humans in the in the mixed, and it looks uh, awful when you see the, the 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 live action people, the actors. But then when it's Tom and Jerry, I'm laughing. Their antics are just, you know, timeless. And you can't do a fully animated Tom and Jerry. You can't put them in an adventure that would be just like, you know, you can even just put them in a damn house. And you have Tom trying to catch Jerry and trying to, you know, get one up on him. And then 
Jerry's always outsmarting him. Like, look what he did with the bus thing in the beginning. Hey, you know, come, 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 give me a hug. And then Tom runs, walk, walks across the street and smack. The bus, you know, he gets flattened by a bus. Or he gets flattened up against the front of the, you know, the, the bus. That was funny. Tom, you know, lands, you know, after all his, he's looking at that Batman homage and then his wings and whatever stuff comes off. And then he lands on the, um, you know, at the window. And then Jerry slams the window in his um, hand, you know, slams in, you know, his hands you know, in the window, you know I mean? It's like classic. Yeah, Chloe Grace Moretz hiring Tom to uh, to uh, eliminate Jerry because they got a, 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 a mouse problem. You know, <laughs> I don't know what to think about it. I mean, you know, I'm a fan of Tom and Jerry. I might check it out when uh, it gets digitally released or on demand. I might just check it out just for shits and giggles. I'll probably hate it, but, you know. But, you know, I'm going to do something, you know. Wasn't that bad, but at the same time, it wasn't good. It's like, man, maybe I'll just watch a classic Tom and Jerry cartoon, kind of get that, get that out of my mouth, the taste out of my mouth, the bad taste. Because, again, another thing where it's like, you know, they started it with animated looking, and it's like, oh, okay. Then just that, <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, that's my reaction, and I guess my thoughts on Tom and Jerry. I don't know when it's gonna be released. And the title of it is Tom and Jerry Trailer One, Trailer Number One, uh, 2020. So I guess it's going to be released, or maybe it's been released. I don't know. But uh, anyway, that's my reaction. And for those of you who stopped by and checked it out, I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.